Eddie, is this thing on? Yeah, it's on right now. <laughs> All right, so these are two of my players from my Darv's Hill uh, Labyrinth Lord game. Steady uh, players. Hopefully there isn't too much uh, background noise, but it kind of sounds like there is. <clears throat> we'll find out. <laughs> Uh, would you care to introduce yourself and the uh, character you're, you're playing? I don't know. Uh, my name is Mike, and I play Seer, who is a human thief, and Targ, who is a human fighter. Um, I used to play uh, Tyr Van Ditsun, who was a magic user who was attacked by some insects and died. Not just some insects, a lot of insects. Darv's Hill does not like magic users. That's right. So, we don't take any anymore. <laughs> and you have uh, you Thimple and... I am uh, Jeff. I play Thimple Thorn Whistle and Grunk. Well, Grunk, uh, formerly Grunk. The most cursed character I think I've ever played. Yeah, he's got lots of curses on him. Yes. Turned into a woman. Got the uh, tip of his finger burned off. And... Uh, Actually, has a mouth on the bottom of his foot. And I believe the group is now called what? Grunka and Company. Grunka and Company. So we have a, a group name, an official group name that is uh, known far and wide. <laughs> Nobody has agreed to that name other than Grunka. So. <laughs> um, I guess I just want to ask you guys what you think of the game so far, or what do you think of my GMing style, how I run the game. Uh, feel free to just spew out some ideas here. Okay. Go ahead. You got something? Yeah, no, switch back to you. Okay. Um, I'm having a blast with the game. Um, the game was my introduction to the Gasp group. Um, I decided to go to the con last year, uh, and beforehand I came online, checked out the forum a little bit more completely than I had in the past, and saw that the game was starting up, and I was like, well, I'm going to play Labyrinth Lord. Um, it's as close, you know, it's as close to what I kind of started playing whenever I first started playing D&D, so kind of after some experience with the third edition and fourth edition, I was like, I, I just want to play the old school stuff. Those people online were my favorite people online, so um, I really wanted to play it, so and that's what I'd signed up for at the convention, and I saw it was running, so... I was like, what the heck, I'll, I'll try it out at least once. Um, so I showed up and we rolled up our characters. Um, my favorite things about the game uh, are that it, uh, the, it's, it has a lot to do with that old school style. It's that exploration. We don't know what's going to be behind that door. Um, we don't know that there's always going to be a fight. We don't know what the magic items do. There's no way to just roll a die and figure it out. You just you know, got to try to use it and hope you're not getting cursed. Um, <laughs> I don't think I've used a cursed item yet, have I? I don't know. I don't think that, not that we know of. Yeah, yeah. Your, yours might be, man. There's a possibility for yours. That's not a curse. That's a blessing. <laughs> Come on now. But the, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I've had a blast every time. Um, it's, you know, it's been some dire situations, but uh, it's always been comedic. Uh, Five I think out of eight guys turned to stone. It's pretty dire. Yeah. The, uh, Almost TPK. Yeah. All the, I mean, all the other people that have played in the game have been great to play with, so yeah. it's been a positive experience. I know you're looking for us to, like, chop you down. Oh, yeah, a little bit. But, uh, well, Jeff, I know you usually play games with more skills and more crunch. And I like, uh, you said you couldn't play this kind of game, like, weekly, but it's no, okay I monthly. Not, I could not play old school simple rules game like this in a home game every week or anything like that. I need a lot of structure. I'm a very planned and organized and, and uh, obsessive compulsive individual. <laughs> but it's nice <coughs> getting that uh, touch of chaos. It's very free form. It's such the same thing. I had been to the gas game days before in the past. I mean even years ago. And uh, it was a lot of board games. There weren't any regular role-playing games that I would, Maybe just one or yeah, maybe two at the I beginning. I did not want to get into, and uh, so I kind of stopped going, and I was like, oh, I'm going to get into gaming. My home games weren't, but maybe once every month, every month and a half, which sucks. And uh, I said, well, let me get on the forum, and uh, well, check it out. Uh, that's uh, 14 months ago, so here we are. Um, is there one thing about the way I, ch I run the game that you would like me to change or improve on? This is where I'm looking for you guys to cut me down a little bit here. What does Tim suck at? <laughs> I don't... Feel free. I, you know. I don't... I mean, I, 
Awesome. Don't concern it's, myself with that. He's running the game, so I, I'm the. I like to go with the flow with with this. He's running the game, so I'm doing things his way. I, you know, playing some other old school since then. Um, you know, I've played swords. I've played and run swords and wizardry. I've played and run mutant future. I've played and run labyrinth lord. Um, I've read lamentations. Um, you know, I, I feel like it's got the right feel. Um, there's, I, there's probably like some of those like I don't even know, like the. I know you mentioned the combat sequence thing before, where you want oh, to possibly well, yeah, try to include that. I, I go when I run Labyrinth Lord. Um, I go by the book rules where you declare before anybody rolls initiative. Um, you declare all your actions. Um, so things can change. Uh, it, I think that uh, even though our magic users managed to die, um, <laughs> the, the you get a, a pretty distinct advantage as a magic user if um, there's no risk of your spell failing because you got hit or something like that. Because what you would do is declare that you're casting, then you'd be casting, and then all of a sudden you lose initiative, and a goblin hits you with a dagger. Your spell blows up, you lose the spell. Um, oh, the game is so brutal on magic users. <laughs> you know, with one spell at low levels, you got one spell, and what, and then you're done. I, maybe it's not that big of a deal. Maybe it's nice to have that little bit of bonus, but I can imagine you know, you get into the higher levels and you're throwing fireballs and stuff. Um, then it would probably, yeah. Because there's no difference. way for that spell to, to misfire. Um, but I, I mean, I don't think it's bad. I just I haven't been running it that way. Um, the combats are fun. I love that the monsters. I'm just going to turn this into a positive. <laughs> okay, a that's the, fine. A lot of the monsters, we have no idea what they are, and we know the stuff that's in the book. I mean, there's like. I don't even know what's in the book. I try to throw curveballs and just some strange things. And there's stuff that's clearly not classic D and D stuff. We haven't fought <laughs> goblins. We haven't fought. Um, you did fight gnolls. We fought gnolls, but we haven't fought like orcs, and we didn't do the little progression up through. Yeah. Um, you do allow for a lot of, if we come up with some goofy thing, there's a lot of yes ands and not a lot of no, you can't do that. Huh. Um, I don't think there's ever been anything that we weren't allowed to try to do. <laughs> yeah, I usually, like, even if it's something that's tough, I'll just, okay, roll, but it's really tough. You yeah. Know, or something like that. I don't play quite as many games as these guys play. I've pretty much lived on D&D &D until... Recently, uh, some Shadowrun, some more of the more complex games. I just don't have enough home game playtime to try a bunch of different games. All right, I'll, I'll try another question here. Uh, what is the most favorite thing about your character or the items they have, or maybe even the favorite thing that that character has done in the game? Maybe we'll start with uh, start with Jeff. Uh, maybe uh, talk a little bit louder because there's a lot of noise. So. How can't you love everything Thimple does? I mean, just you know. And he's not even your main character, right? He's, he's your like, he's, he's my, your second my uh, henchman, my hireling, whatever you want to call it. And uh, he's just a evil little bastard, I guess. <laughs> even though the game doesn't have evil, it's just. I don't know if he started out that way, or... I've if, seen a progression. Or if the progression has started, you know, well, you know, you know you it's a sword that sucks <laughs> souls, and then you get this dagger that, you know, is used for sacrificing, and it's dedicated to an evil god. Because I, I noticed when I gave out both of those items, Fimple was the one that, like, gravitated towards them. Everyone else was like, oh, yeah, you can have them. We don't want that kind of stuff. You know? So, so, is he evil because of what he got, or was he a little... Pitched in the head to begin with. <laughs> and he just slid from there. Right. Yeah. Well, you know, he's, he was bullied around by uh, Grunk. Well, yeah. Grunk, uh, formerly Grunk. Yeah. For, uh, you know, as long as he was. And, uh, which really sucked because he's far more intelligent. <laughs> it's just that she's far more charismatic. Uh, Mike, what do, you, what, do you, what do you think about your characters? Any moments or favorite thing about them? I totally love the, uh, you know, well... One of my favorite things is that I get to be in an adventuring party with Thimble because he's going to do the awful thing before I manage to do it. Um, 
Joey Sears a nasty. Nice to have somebody to point the finger at. Yeah, Sears a nasty, almost as nasty as Thimble. I mean, he he does not shy away from the backstab. Um, but uh, yeah, finding that coin, um, it just felt like you know there was something. I know you just pick a character and whatever. It's they have something, but there's this ancient artifact that we don't know everything about. We don't know if it's good or evil. Um, I also, you know, I think. Seer and Thimble together are trouble. I mean, <laughs> we just like if there's something stupid, <laughs> just being me. Yeah, I mean, if there's something that like in a modern D and D game you just don't do because it's going to take you 14 hours to make another character. Um, <laughs> it is Seer nice to be able to make a new guy in about 15 minutes. Seer and Thimble uh, will pop the lock off the thing that's clearly got something bad in it. We'll take the poison damage. We'll do whatever. Um, Stupid thing if it, we think it's going to be entertaining. So, you know, we didn't bring up Stinky yet, but. We probably went to primary Stinky who? I mean, do you guys like the Quasi Deem? Because technically, by the rules, the Quasi Deem is only supposed to go towards a magic user, but because you guys rescued him, he's like split between you, like half ownership. I don't know. That's fine. Yeah, I he's think cool. I think it's funny. Um, we don't overuse him either. Yeah, actually, you underuse him. Yeah. <laughs> We mostly, so Stinky's the uh, closet demon that we, we fished a, what did we do? We fished a box out of a Fished a box out, out of, yeah. a feet in and of itself. By, with two ten-foot poles two out of a magical lake or pond. into a, the, a well or something yeah. like that, and kind of squeezed between them. it looked like mercury or Yeah, it was, it was not natural. Yeah. <laughs> so we pulled that out, and then we busted the lock off of it. And then the little guy popped out, and instead of killing it, we were like, I can, how can you do anything but love him? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, he's a demon with his mouth so shut. How bad can it be? Um, all right. Uh, is there any final thoughts that you guys have about the campaign or anything that you can think of? I don't know. Grunk has got concerns about the town. <laughs> there have been thoughts through my head that she needs to retire to look over Gnaw. And thereby, especially with the news of what happened with the goblin army. Ah, uh, yes, the goblin army went over and slaughtered the elves. We Whoops. were sure the elves would defeat them handily, but uh, as fate would have it, and Tim would have it, it didn't happen. <laughs> Even though it was pretty much Thimple's doing, but I mean, it was a, a party now. Yeah, no, it seemed like a good idea. Mass uh, inflicting mass genocide on the, the elven, our elven friends to the uh, east. Under the full belief that they would easily defeat, what, an army of 200 goblins? Oh, wow, see, they went and got friends. Yeah. Other tribes. Oh, well. Because the high priest had said them to go do it. <laughs> Damn it. So, at, at least we fortified Nam, and now we feel bad about the elves, so, so she has these thoughts of needing to retire to take up the mantle of uh, Captain of the I, guess, I guess if Grunker retires, then Pimp will become your main character. And I'd have right? to hire a new uh, hireling <laughs> and make him up. But, well, if you want to do that, just let me know. We can yeah, do something. The, the big thing is, you know, she's committed to cleaning out Thorv's Hill, and uh, there's a lot of bad stuff up there, too, that could uh, inflict her and his harm upon Nam as well. It's tough. She's, she's conflicted. Well, uh, hopefully the uh, sound levels are correct. They might be kind of messed up because everyone's talking. But uh, all right, guys. Thanks for the video. And uh, now I'll commence to kill your characters off. Yay! <laughs> There's only four of us tonight. Be careful. <laughs>